Scott Bait teams are ready to find out which will catch more mahi-mahi, bait or lures. The kids are team bait, or maybe in this case, team messy. Lenny and Captain Larry make up team lures. But first, let's have the answer to that fishing quiz. Why do they use circle hooks when going after this particular species? The answer is C, because circle hooks help prevent leader chase. Mahi often swallow J-hooks, leading to their teeth grinding up your leader. In the past, we've lost plenty of fish because of this, before discovering that circle hooks get stuck in the hinge of the mahi's jaw. Then the mahi's teeth only hit the metal of the hook. This style of fishing where you pull up on floats, lobster balls, and weed lines, and throw chunks of bait is called bailing. I'll get close enough that we can throw some bait right up on the float to draw the fish out and then shift into neutral. The action is red hot right from the start. That's that one, that's that one. Here. Circle hooks, guys. Circle. That one. You got one? Yep. Okay. Oh, Max is on. I'm, 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 not sure. Sure. I'm, I'm just trying to figure it out properly. See them all? See them all? Shh. Shh. It's okay. Nice fish. Oh, got right. one. There you go. Nice job, Dave. Team Bay. Ooh, and there he is. Whoa, I mean, nice one, bud. I think that's the biggest so far. 33, 33 inches. 33. Biggest so far. And you want to tag him? No, I want to put that fish in a box, man. That's dinner. Nice one, Dave. Oh. Got a little bull. Look, he's got the flat head. Isn't that interesting? If he's in good shape, let him go, yeah. Mine is not, unfortunately. He's going in the box. He's not gonna make it. He's getting eaten. Tagging a fish is super simple. You just put in, in the tag, insert the needle, and release the fish. Here you go. There. Push in, pop out, good job. Now we'll let this guy go. Nice. No. Hold on, let's tag him. He's perfect, perfect opportunity to tag if we can ever stop him. Stop it. He, he did. 20 inches. Insert the needle right behind the dorsal. The fish are so cooperative that the teams run out of tags. Look at all chasing it. Tags? Oh, I must be 20 fish chasing my lord. Dad, yeah, are we out of tags? We have yeah, I got a nice fish. out of tags. Dad, I got a nice fish. When fishing with circle hooks, never set the hook. Just reel it tight. You got your fish. Is that one on there, Dave? Yep. We were catching so many fish so fast, I could barely get them off the hook, much less keep up and catch my own fish. Cheers. I love mahi fishing. Dolphin fish are a really cool species. Scientists believe they're the fastest growing fish in the whole ocean. They can grow two inches a week and in one year reach 40 pounds. Heck, in Hawaiian, mahi mahi means very strong. Larry, I think we're gonna need a gaff on this guy. This is it. a gaff. I'm ready. All right. There's a nice bull. Nice bull dolphin. There's a nice bull. Now you can tell that's a bull dolphin because he has that flat head. Oh boys, he goes way beyond the ruler. 36 plus another 12, 48. This guy is definitely going into the fish box. He is some good eating right there. Now cows, the females, they have a much more rounded head. Doesn't have that flat section like the bull dolphin does. And fish this size, we usually call them chicken dolphin. Ah, this guy's the gaffer. One of the coolest things about mahi is they change color. Sometimes they're blue, sometimes they're silver, sometimes they're gold, and sometimes they're yellow. 
that sometimes they even change right in your hands. Like this one, about a minute ago, was silver up top, and now it has a green shade to it. Look, he's changing to yellow right now. Oh my god, it's changing totally. So here's the question. Do scientists think they change color too? A, to communicate fear. B, to communicate aggression. C, to attract a mate. Or D, all of the above. Those really are amazing looking fish, aren't they? To see more Mahi Mahi, and to find out the answer to Max's fishing quiz, watch the next segment of Got Bait.